Hello and welcome to Project Wise Administrator Fundamentals Accreditation Course Defining Document Code In this lesson, we will learn how to make use of some important environment attributes to define and generate the document name. We are needing this because we want some project documents to follow a predefined naming convention. This will make it easier for all project team members to locate the documents and then also to work on them. The exercise for this lesson, we will use the following attributes to define and generate the document code and the document name. To define naming for the documents, it will have to be performed by ProjectWise administrators in the ProjectWise administrator module. Documents that are rooted from the same environment will have a similar naming convention, which we will see it shortly. And to be clear, each environment is eligible to one pattern of naming convention. For instance, we may want the documents from my company environment to have a naming convention of project number, area, doc type, doc level, and a five-digit number. Once the four attributes have been identified, a five-digit number will be automatically generated. So let's see how we can do this. Let's right-click on My Company Environment, Define Document Code. Let's go ahead and click Next. Yes, we do want ProjectWise to provide us a random number. So let's go ahead and select the default option and click Next. This random number, when generated by ProjectWise, will be based on the four attributes. And they are area, doc type, level, and project ID. Let's go ahead and click on the double arrow button and then click Next. An attribute serial number will be used to store the five-digit number that ProjectWise generated. Let's go ahead and click Next. Are there any additional attribute that we want to include to generate the document code? In this case, there is an additional attribute since we already select them in the previous screen. So let's go ahead and click Next. There is an attribute doc code, which the label is drawing number. We want this attribute to hold the document code information. Really, this is the same as the document name or the file name minus the file extension. Let's go ahead and click Next. Here, this allows us to select an attribute which will help to identify the uniqueness of the document code. But this attribute data itself is not included or displayed in the document code. One instance that we may find this to be useful is that multiple sheet files that need to have the same drawing number. The sheet number will be used to identify the uniqueness of the document code, but the sheet number itself is not displayed in the document code. To achieve the result of having multiple sheet files to have the same drawing number. Since we don't have this requirement, so let's go ahead and click Next. On the final screen, this is where we can see how the document name will look like. If it doesn't look correct, we can always select the attribute and then use the move up or move down buttons to control the order of the attributes. Since the order of the attributes are exactly what we want, so we will not need to reorganize it. We can also use variety of characters to act as the separators for the attributes. If the character we want to use is not listed in the list, we can always type it in. If an attribute that is part of the document code, but it sometimes doesn't have any value, we can always enable the option, allow empty value. Near the bottom right of the dialog window, it shows us the preview of the document name or the document code. We can take a closer look again to confirm that this is how we want our document name or document code to look like. Let's go ahead and click on the next button to finish defining the document code. 
It is always a good idea for administrators to launch ProjectWise Explorer and verify that the document naming is exactly how we want it. Let's go ahead and create a new document and select the advanced wizard. Click OK and select the CAD DGN seed file. Click Next. Here we can see that the project number is automatically retrieved from the multi-use project. We can see and select the area pick list, the doc type, as well as the doc level. And clicking on the generate button will give us a five digit number. We also see that as we select the information from the pick list, it generates the document name and the document coding for us. So this confirms that the document name is exactly how we want it. During this lesson, we have learned how to make use of some important environment attributes to define and generate the document name. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you and see you next time.